This video will cover the topic, signed fraction addition or subtraction, basic. To add fractions, first we get a common denominator, then we add the numerators while keeping the same denominator, and then we simplify. What is the difference between a numerator and a denominator? Every fraction is made up of two parts, the numerator and the denominator. The numerator is the top part, and the denominator is the bottom part. In this example, 3 fourths, 3 is the numerator because it is on top of the fraction bar, and 4 is the denominator because it is below the fraction bar. In order to add two fractions, the denominators need to be the same. If they are already the same, as in the following example, then to add them, you add the numerators and keep the same denominator. Let's look at the following example. 4 ninths plus 1 over 9 equals numerator plus numerator over the same denominator. So, for this problem, the answer will be 4 plus 1 over 9. Therefore, the answer is 5 over 9. But what do we do if the denominators aren't the same? and we still want to add them. Let's take a look at a new example. Negative one-half plus five-sixths. In this example, one fraction has a denominator of six, and the other has a denominator of two. To find the least common denominator, we need to find the least common multiple of six and two. The numbers six, twelve, and eighteen are all common multiples of six and two, but since 6 is the smallest one, it is the least common multiple. We are going to change the denominators of each fraction to 6. However, we can't just change the denominators and leave the numerators the same, or else the value of the fractions will change. So we must also change the numerator in the same ratio. With our first fraction, negative 1 half, to get the denominator 2 to equal 6, we must multiply it by 3. To keep the value of the fraction from changing, we must also multiply the numerator by 3. So we get negative 1 times 3 equals negative 3, 2 times 3 equals 6, so our answer is negative 3 over 6. Why is 3 over 6 equal to 1 half? The numbers are different. Imagine a pizza cut into two equal slices, and then imagine another pizza cut into six equal slices. If you eat one slice from the first pizza, representing one half of the pizza, one of the two slices, we can see that the same amount of pizza is gone as eating three of the other pizza's slices, three six, or three of six slices of that pizza. Since our second fraction already has 6 in the denominator, we don't need to change it. Now, our expression looks like this. Negative 3 6 plus 5 6. Now that the denominators are the same, we can add the numerators to get our final answer. Negative 3 plus 5 over 6 equals 2 over 6. Is 2 over 6 the final answer? This answer is technically correct. However, it is always best to check if the fraction can be simplified. Remember how before we multiplied the top and bottom to see if we could rewrite the fraction using bigger numbers? Now that we have the answer, we want to rewrite it using smaller numbers, which is called reducing the fraction. To reduce, we find the greatest common factor of the numerator and the denominator, and divide both by that number. The greatest common factor represents the biggest number that both the numerator and the denominator can be divided by. In this case, 2 is the largest number that both 6 and 2 can be divided by, so we divide them both by 2, like this. 2 divided by 2 is 1, and 6 divided by 2 is 3. Therefore, our final simplified answer is 1 third. So, to add fractions, first we get a common denominator, then we add the numerators while keeping the denominators the same, and then we simplify?
That's right.